there we go. Hi. Um, turn the screen, and here I am. Well, we are on day four of our drawing project, or art making project. We are going to be doing a poster for the Health Through Art competition. Uh, they've extended the deadline because of the pandemic. Um, but let's review what we've done so far, especially if you missed the first few videos, which are all on YouTube and Google Classroom. Um, the first one is only on Google Classroom, and that one was just like, hi, here we are. Welcome to my art room. This is my house. <laughs> this is a table in my house I work on, or my apartment, actually. Um, the first, then the second video is we did two types of drawings. The first drawing was a blind contour. What, remember what a blind contour is? You only look at the object while you're drawing it. You do not look at the paper while you're drawing it. It's really good training for your eyes. You draw slowly. Then we did a modified contour of the same object, a modified contour drawing of the same object where you can look at the paper. Okay, sorry, you can't see my eyes. Um, then the third video was working on um, thumbnail sketches. I'm gonna move this down a little bit so you can see, sort of. Um, so we did a few different thumbnail sketches together. Um, so thumbnail sketches are just rough sketches to get your ideas going. Um, you may have selected words that you want to work with. Uh, you know, give someone a hug. Love takes flight. Um, and then I, be let's see. And then this is the one I did. Do you remember I was working on it upside down? So I couldn't really control my pencil very well. But um, but it was actually getting me closer to what I want to work with. And um, the words are, you're okay just the way you are. Um, so I played around with that. Whoopsie. I tried doing more of a realistic one. Let's see. And... I really didn't like that at all. But in my sketching, I did this one that my finger is pointing to, or almost touching. And it was multiple faces, kind of Picasso style-ish. Um, so I played with that some more. Um, did it with three faces. I like that one, actually. Um, tried it with four faces was we're just trying to get diff work with different expressions. This was actually pretty fun. Um, still debating, should I do three faces, four faces? And then I decided I'm just gonna do three faces. So, let me move this out of the way. Um, so we began. Um, the first thing I want you to do is draw very lightly with your pencil. All you're going to need today, actually, is a sharpened pencil, an eraser. This is a kneaded eraser, which is really good for erasing thoroughly a pencil line without damaging the paper, because sometimes erasers can do that. Just draw lightly, though, and a Sharpie. We're going to be doing a collage, I hope. Because uh, I'm assuming you don't have paint and you know, supplies like that. Um, so what to do if you have no art supplies? When in doubt, use glue. What is this red thing? Oh, it's the book. Okay. Um, so let's see. I filmed this once thinking I was filming it, and it wasn't. So now, of course, the drawing is on here. But let's see. Is this the... Yeah, Okay. Um, so first I want to do what's called a pinky drawing or rather a finger drawing. Pinky is pinky swear. You're not going to throw anything away. Whatever you create, you're going to try to finish. Not try. You will finish. Repeat after me. I'm not going to throw anything away. Whatever I start, I will finish. I will welcome 
the mistakes and happy accidents. Sometimes they're the best part. Okay, so I'm gonna first draw with my finger just to figure out where things are gonna go. I'm gonna pretend this paper is blank. Um, so I wanna have a face here, I wanna have a face below it, I wanna have a face sort of in the middle. Then I'm gonna have my words here and my space for my words on top. And I wanna do kind of a loose drawing um, so it feels kind of light. Okay, and I cheated a little bit here before you came. And um, here's, I think, more the layout I'm going to work with. So once you get your sketch figured out and drawn in, and draw it lightly, you can always change it again. Uh, I've got my words here. Oops, I should move my hand. Why is this looking? There it is. So I'm going to turn my line letters into block letters. Ooh, you can hear the sirens. God, why are people so bad? I'm like, what else is new? Okay, and then uh, I'm not gonna do all the letters right now. In fact, I'm not gonna do the, have you watch me do every single little thing right now. But then the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, go over my lightly drawn pencil lines with a Sharpie. You know what I want to do is look at one of the pictures I actually really liked. Um, so it's okay to do stuff you don't like because sometimes there'll be a corner of it that you do like and then you just kind of, oh yeah, come back to it. Okay, maybe I'll just use these. Okay, so um, I'm going to go over the pencil lines that are useful. Um, I'm using a Sharpie, which is all going to get covered up anyway with the collage. And then if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Um, and, oh great, the Sharpie's running out of juice. Um, I wanted to show people have in different moods. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's already seven minutes. Okay, I was trying to make just seven minute videos. But I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna stop here, stop the filming, and then I'll show it to you when it's all finished. And that'll be the next video. Bye bye for now. So here's what I did. Your turn. Time to draw.